What's up, what's up, what's up? Cooking with Cad is back. White Cooking with Cad. Two sons, Caleb and Dustin. Caleb couldn't make it today to the Troubadour Festival here in Salina, Texas. He's a little under the weather, but behind the lens as always is Dustin. Say hi, Dustin. Ooh. Hi, Dustin. All right, folks, so we are here. 41 barbecue pitmasters from the great state of Texas are right here at Old Salina Park. We're gonna start our journey. We've got three hours to eat as much as we can. We're ready, come join us. Dustin is ready, our first stop, Panther City Barbecue. Short rib street style tacos. Let me see that, D-Ray. Oh man, that looks good. All right, let's see. What do you think? It looks dang good. Oh man, that looks good. Oh, good yeah. stuff? Oh yeah. All right, there's our first. We'll move on to our next one. All right, D-Ray is ready. Next stop, Cadillac Barbecue. Oh, it's creeping in behind us. They've got their homemade Akushi beef bologna sandwich. Let's go, bro. Let's see it first. Ooh. All right. Oh man. Good? Really good. That's nice sauce. It's really nice sweet. Nice sauce. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah, Cadillac's always strong. All right, up next, one of the most famous spots in Texas in Lockhart. Kreitz Barbecue. The very famous Roy Pettis Pitmaster. We've got original sausage taco. Let's go, D Ray. All right. Grab it and eat it, bro. I'll try it. I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Good? Oh, yeah. Good spice? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up? Oh, yeah. Up next, Lockhart Smokehouse, right next door to Kreitz, of course. Israel Rodriguez. They've got turkey breast with slaw. Let's go, D Ray. There's Jill and Jeff, owners of Lockhart. What do you think, bud? <laughs> you can't lie, they're right there. You can lie after, but how is it? Don't lie, don't lie. How is it? It's really good. I love this. It's my favorite uh, linebacker, by the way. There this you guy, go. He's gonna be he's gonna be five star. He's a freshman right now, but you gotta start recruiting him now. See, he's gonna miss out. Look at that love from Jeff. So you gotta go see Lockhart <laughs> and you gotta so go see Kreitz as well. Man. Good? Oh yeah. Yes. Up next, 1701 barbecue in Beaumont. Smoked and then fried pork belly. Damn, that's gonna be good, I think, already. Pork belly, smoked, oh and then God. fried. Oh my God. That's the best. Is that a favorite so far? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah? Well, that's Dustin, good. sounds like he's got a favorite now. Oh, wow. D-Ray's at it again. Let's see this one. That is smoked pork with green chili. And this is from Guest Family Barbecue in Waco. Oh, man. Well, you can oh, tell wow. right off the bat when Dustin likes something with that first bite. How is it? I really go. The one. sauce is really good. So pork, pork is good too? Oh, yeah. All right. Really good. Another favorite. Next up, Smoketown Barbecue in Faith. P, B, and J. Burn ends. Pork? Nope. Beef. Beef. All right. Good. Pretty good? Oh yeah. PB and J works? Yep. Yeah. Pretty good. Brisket is up next from Smiley's Barbecue in Roanoke. Alright. He's thinking. Oh. Ooh. Oh yeah. That's good. That's really good. Like it? Yeah. Sulphur Springs is on the map next. Slaughter's Barbecue Oasis. There's Smoke Kessel. Let's see. All right, D-Ray. Uh-oh. Nothing That's yet. That's good. Are you sure? It'd be better if it was more warmed up, but it's definitely good. Good flavor, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. Lubbock is up next. Hill Barbecue. House made pickles, house made jalapeno sausage, and smoked brisket. Try the pickle first. Try the pickle first. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Sausage. Oh, man. Good? Oh, it's got some kick. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Wash it down with some brisket, brother. That's 
All of it's really good. Good brisket? Oh, yeah. All three good? Mm -hmm. Little kick? Yeah. All right, so we are at Pinkerton's now, and they had a smoked duck taco. Looks like it has Oaxaca cheese with a salsa verde, and they're in San Antonio, by the way. So let's see what we got here. It looks really good. Duck, y'all. First duck. Oh, is it? Really good. Good. Nice. Got a nice little crispy edge on it. Really good. Next up, Ravel in Pinehurst. Check it out. Barbecue brisket Frito pie. Frito pie is great here in Texas. Let's see if they did it right using the brisket. Okay. This one might be my favorite, bro. What? Yeah. Wow. Excellent. Let's dig in again. Eaker in Fredericksburg. They have a smoked pork tamale with a little salsa roja. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. That's a legit tamale, folks. Let's stop at Brenham next for LJ's. Here we go. Look, they gave us a twofer. This is a reverse seared smoked pork chop. And this is a fried brisket mac and cheese ball. Let's start out with the pork chop. Good seasoning. Pretty solid. Let's try this sucker. Brisket mac and cheese, and it's fried into a ball. Mm. Good. That's good. Let's go back to Waco, this time Hellberg. And what they have is Terrace Major, and that is the chuck section of the cow right below the front leg. All right, it's got a little sauce on it. Ooh, that's good looking already. That's good, y'all. It's like a really tender steak. And this cut actually is the second most tender piece of meat from the cow. Up next, Sunbird in Longview. They've got a smoked al pastor pastor. You can see that looks like pork belly. Looks good. Mm. Good. Oh man. Top five today for sure. Excellent. Wow. Let's go to Maybank. B4 Barbecue and Boba. Their rift on a Texas Twinkie weighs about a pound. Oh yeah. B4 Barbecue and Boba, they did two things. We just had the smoked stuffed jalapeno wrapped in bacon. Now check it out. What was this? Candied? Sweet candy. Sweet candy. More than likely a pork belly burn in. Before. Damn good. Let's try out Brick Vault. They've got a smoked chicken wing. Smoke perfectly, got an interesting sauce to it, little twang to it. Not bad. I think this is our last stop as everybody is just about sold out as it's almost four o'clock. We didn't hit everybody up, but it is what it is. We got a lot of grub. This is from Oaked in Dallas. It's a smoked chicken 
honey slider with slaw. All right, D-Ray. I'm gonna pick it up by the pickles, I think. Man, it got messy. Oh, man. <laughs> got a little messy. Got a little heat. It's a uh, buffalo sauce. Yeah, you'll like this one. Tell you what, if you haven't been to the Troubadour Festival here in Salina, make plans for next year. Fantastic event put on by Chase Colston. Great job, bud. One thing I was disappointed in, but I certainly understand it, my bud, John Brotherton in Pflugerville, he owns Brotherton's Black Iron Barbecue, one of the best barbecue joints in the state. They did make the top 50 barbecue list this year by Texas Monthly. John unfortunately couldn't make it. He had some big, big, big catering gigs last night and tonight, Saturday night, so I certainly understand why he couldn't make it. But Dustin and I wish we could have seen John and his crew as everything at Brotherton's is ridiculously good. Not only does he have some of the best barbecue in the state, but Dustin, show him. He also earns, owns Burnt Inn's sauce company. If you haven't tried his sauces, guess who carries them? A little store called Bucky's and other establishments as well. So if you haven't tried Burnt Ends yet, go grab some bottles. If you haven't been to Brotherton's in Pflugerville, go check out John. They've got Bill Dumas, their sausage sensei. Man, everything is outstanding at Brotherton. So John, we appreciate it. Wish we could have seen you. Chase again, fantastic job. We hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you can make it to Salina next year. And if you were here today, let us know what you thought. Drop us some comments. Let us know who you thought was the best, you know, concerning your palate, what you enjoyed the best. We appreciate it. Like us if you haven't so far. Subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Cat.